News 3's Andy Choi spoke with Area 6, who are shedding more light tonight on their faith. Danica Lewis is asking questions about security in church sanctuaries. But we begin tonight with Mark Lovacott in the community of Oak Creek. People in this city, 20 miles south of downtown Milwaukee, are trying to come to terms with what happened yesterday morning. Mark. And Sarah, what happened is simply unthinkable. A 40-year-old man, an Army veteran, enters a place of worship and opens fire with a 9mm handgun and multiple magazines. It's been more than 24 hours since this awful tragedy, and this community is still in shock. Particularly concerned about the well-being of our children who witnessed this horror. Scars that seem impossible to heal as the sick community and the entire community of Oak Creek start the healing process. It's not easy. It's very hard to accept. But I think religion would help us in coping with this problem. Sunday was a tragic day for our city, especially given the fact that it occurred in a place of worship. It started at around 10.30 Sunday morning. Police say 40-year-old Wade Michael Page entered the sick temple of Wisconsin and opened fire. Our first officer on scene, as he entered into the driveway area, he came upon a victim in the parking lot and exited his vehicle and went to assist that individual. He went to render aid. It was at that point that he was met by the suspect who basically ambushed him around his vehicle. 51-year-old Lieutenant Brian Murphy will survive and is being called a hero, as is the next responding officer who shot and killed the suspect. There is no doubt in my mind that the heroic actions of our police officers prevented an even greater tragedy, and they should be commended for that. While the community continues to try and make sense of this tragedy, there are those hit the hardest. We are a group of learners, and today we are learning the hardest lesson possible. Ever. People like Amar Deep Kalika, his father, president of the temple, tried stabbing the suspect and help others hide. He was one of the victims. Satwan Singh Kalika was a great man, a hero, under, through and through. And uh, we just hope you guys understand that uh, there are no words for his actions. Earlier today, police were looking for a man. They were calling a person of interest in this case. He apparently was at the scene yesterday after the shooting. Folks said he looked suspicious. He wasn't recognizable and was simply out of place. Authorities have since located that man. They've talked to him, and they have completely cleared him having anything to do with what happened yesterday. We want to mention later tonight the sick community and other communities will be gathering at a nearby temple in Brookfield to... Uh, hold a special candlelight vigil for the victims and all those affected by this. A special community-wide candlelight vigil is scheduled here in Oak Creek for tomorrow night. All right, Mark Lovacart reporting live from Oak Creek tonight. Thank you, Mark.